All right, put the can down. All right, well, one more second. No, put more the second. can down. Okay. All right, all right, Joey, you sing the high part. Oh, you got it. Shoop doo wah, shoop doo wah. Come and eat the family, talking about my brothers and me. We don't have a pedigree, but we're brothers. Brothers. We might follow different dreams. We might play on different teams. Where it counts behind the scenes, we're brothers. We might march to different drums, we might disagree. Don't you know when trouble comes, you can come to me, you're my family. And curve that life may throw, and it will the wind may blow. Brother, ain't it good to know we're three? Life is full of stress and strife. You lose a lover and leave a wife. A brother's a brother for all your life. But we're brothers. Ship to us. Good. Yeah, that's oh, good. It's good. Money. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Hi, Penny. Hi. Dad, I may not have mentioned this earlier, but when you and Mom split up, it hurt me very deeply. How deeply? $2,700 should cover it. <laughs> I filled out an application for a credit card. And they sent you one? A little over a month ago. And you just got your first bill? I believe that did arrive. <laughs> And that's what you need $2,700 for? Dad, I didn't realize how much I'd spent, but you'll be glad to know they were all things I really needed. Uh, even the horse collar. <laughs> this is so irresponsible. And unreliable. That's undeniably true. <laughs> Penny, did it occur to you to keep track of what you were spending? Yes, but the day went by so fast. <laughs> Penny, I am really, I'm disappointed in you. Wait a minute. I think I know how to handle this. Penny? Guess not. <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry about what I did. I've given it a lot of thought, and I know what I have to do. Oh, Daddy, please! I'll never do it again! I always liked you better than Mom. That won't help, Penny. There is no way I'm letting you talk your way out of this one. Daddy, you have to give me the money. How else am I gonna get it? Like everyone else, get a job. <laughs> Daddy, look at this face. that should have to get a job. This is no time to be snooty. Joe, maybe she's right. Maybe she's not ready to be thrown into the rat race. I agree with Donald. Then I'd like to withdraw that remark and possibly throw up. <laughs> I don't need advice from you guys. I am the father here. I'm a father, too. I was close to my father. I remember my father. I've dated a father. <laughs> That's it. I've made up my mind. Penny, I want you to start setting up interviews. All right, fine. I'll try to get a job. Geez, interviews? I'll have to buy some new clothes. <laughs> hey, Lou. Gonna have lunch here? No. I just came over to drive Joe's car around the block. He wanted me to see if I could find out what that rattle was. Oh, huh? what was it? Something that got worse when I drove it over that open manhole. <laughs> oh, no, I bet it needs a complete rear end alignment now. Yeah, so does that guy in the manhole. <laughs> hey, guys, guess what? I called an old friend of mine, and I got Penny a secretarial job. Hey, that's terrific. That's great. Does Penny know shorthand? No. Can she type? No. Does she know how to spin around in an office chair and say, we? 
So you don't really have to do secretarial work. I explained the situation, and he said she could just help out with the copying and stuff. Well, that's nice of the guy. You know, a lot of friends wouldn't do that. Well, this guy sort of owes me a favor. He scratched my car once. <laughs> Giving Penny a job is his way of kind of thanking me for not strangling him. Uh, Joe, I was wondering, uh, how good is Penny with a forklift? <laughs> what? You know, I, I found out what that rattle was. It won't be bothering you no more. Why not? I wrecked your car. <laughs> Cliffy, could you wait outside for the tow truck? I gotta go to work. Yeah, sure, Lou. Tow truck? Uh, just a little tow truck, yes. Hey, Dad, where's the other half of your car? <laughs> I don't believe this. If it's not one thing, it's another. I just got the Daddy, car. Daddy, Dad, 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 calm down. I don't like to see you upset like this. I'm sorry. Can I borrow $20? No, you can't. Wait. Sure. Here. This man is not my father. My father whimpers when he does this. This time, I know you'll be able to pay me back. Penny, I got you a job. You got me a job? That's right. Tom Bentley, an old friend of mine, is doing me a favor. This is how you treat me like an adult? You go find me a job without even asking me? Well, I didn't think you could get one on your own. And I am still your father. I don't have to consult you on every life decision I make for you. <laughs> I hate to disappoint you, but I've already found a job. You have? Penny, that's great. What are you going to be doing? Oh, this and that. It's a big office. Ah, oh, honey, I'm sorry I didn't have more faith in you. I'm going to call Tom right now and tell him my daughter's got a job. Hey, you've got a job. Congratulations. Oh, shut up. <laughs> sorry, I didn't think. <laughs> I should apologize, Kelly. I'm just upset with myself. I lied. I don't have a job. Oh. Decided the old workaday world still isn't for you, huh? It's the other way around. I actually tried to get a job. I went on interviews. I filled out applications. It's happened. I'm, I'm at that age where people stop thinking of me as cute and start thinking of me as useless. <laughs> oh. Oh, keep trying, kid. You know, my father always used to say, as long as there are things to be done, people will be trying to find people to do them as long as there are things to be done. <laughs> Dad drank. I, I just don't know if I can go back out there. I mean, all this rejection is getting to me. I, I've been told I'm not old enough, I'm not young enough, I'm not experienced enough. Then when that embalmer told me he wanted someone with more spunk, I... <laughs> Maybe you're looking for the wrong kind of job. You know, zero in on those listings that start with the phrase, have someone read you this ad. <laughs> you think maybe I've been too picky? Oh, of course you'll get a job. I mean, it is your first attempt, and you've only had one year's experience at community college. You gotta start at the bottom and work your way up. You're right. I'm gonna do just like you did. I'm gonna start at the bottom and rise to the top. No, actually, I started at the bottom and just kind of spread out. <laughs> That's the last time I let a heterosexual ride my car. <laughs> no, Donald, really, I do. I appreciate you giving me a ride to work. Well, the pleasure was all yours. I'm just not a good passenger, okay? I, I didn't mean to insult your driving. Has Joe ever ridden with you? A few times. Singing nearer, my God, to thee? <laughs> it was just an unfortunate choice. So was grabbing my emergency brake and yelling, Look out! <laughs> I have never heard a man scream like that. Well, that's not quite true. <laughs> I can't stay long. I just dropped by to repay you the $20 that I borrowed last week from you, Dad. My daughter. My daughter. 
Ah, uh, honey. So, tell me, how do you like being an office worker? Oh, uh, that, Dad, I lied to you the other day about getting a job in an office, but Kelly talked me into giving it another try, and I finally found a job. She's had the job almost a week now. That's half your pro career, Joe. <laughs> you guys, leave him alone. He's waited 20 years for this, and I want him to enjoy it. Uh, thanks, honey. I'm really, I'm so proud of you. So tell me, where are you working? I knew you'd start crying. <laughs> All he asked you was where you're working. I'm sorry, I, I gotta go. I'm gonna be late for work. Now, Daddy, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Okay. Bye. So bye, long, honey. Bye, bye. Take care. Where the hell is she going? I don't know. She wouldn't tell me. She wouldn't even tell you? That's it. If she won't tell, I'm gonna have to follow her. You can't, Joe. I could give you a million reasons why it's wrong, why it diminishes everything that you've built up between you and Penny, but the most important one, and the one you're going to have to live with for a long time is, you don't have a car. <laughs> Come on, Donna, we'll take your car. What, why should I be a party to this? Because I'm a desperate father who still knows how to drop kick. Okay, you keep my curiosity. Let's go. I only grabbed the wheel because I thought you were going to kill a bird. But it wasn't a bird, was it, Joe? It was my hood ornament. <laughs> you tore off my emergency brake to save the life of Chief Pontiac. You are taking the bus home. Fine. Now, are you sure this is the building Penny went in? I think so. So some kind of a dance hall. Let's go. Penny? Daddy, what are you doing here? What am I doing? What are you doing with Sluggo here? Oh, hey, Daddy, I'm working. Not here, you're not. Yes, I am. This is my job. Now, please leave me alone. Get your coat. We're going home. <clears throat> uh, sorry, mister. But if you want to dance with the girls, you're going to have to wait your turn. No, you don't understand. I just want that girl over there. That's gonna cost you a dollar a dance. Now, please, no trouble, okay? Look, I'm going to talk to that girl right now. Suit yourself. Doc, Festus. <laughs> Oh, if you insist. I don't believe it. My daughter is a dance hostess. She is letting people pay to dance with her. What kind of place is it? Very nice. <laughs> For a place called the Girls, Girls, Girls and Beer. Look, Joe, I know you're concerned about Penny's welfare, but you know, maybe you're overreacting. I am not overreacting. How can you sit there on that big fat bar stool and say I'm overreacting? I said maybe. <laughs> Joe, I'm sure she just means it as a temporary job. Don't blame yourself. I don't. I blame you. <laughs> All I said was take whatever you can get. <laughs> or uh, words to that effect. <laughs> Joe. I'm sure this isn't Penny's idea of a great job, but she needs to work it through herself. She shouldn't be doing this. Joe, she's changing. She's growing. You've got to accept that. Look, it's like when I came out, you were so worried I'd never be happy with my new life, but I am. You, know, you were talking about coming to terms with your homosexuality. I'm talking about dancing with sailors. Same difference. <laughs> I raised her from a baby. And for what? So she could turn into a woman no self-respecting guy will ever want to date? Didn't you tell me you once dated a taxi dancer? Who, Sheila? That was different. What? Why was it different? Because Sheila was a girl who had never been my daughter. I never had to hear Sheila say things like, Daddy, can you fix my dolly? I never played horsey with Sheila. <laughs> well, once, maybe. <laughs> In other words, if you were Sheila's father, you wouldn't want her to date a guy like you. Exactly. 
don't help me anymore. Joe, those places aren't what a lot of people think they are. That's right. I heard they're very carefully regulated by the police. I'm gonna go down and get Joe! Joe, what Cliff is trying to say <laughs> is they've passed new laws to protect the girls. The police departments usually keep files on them now so they don't turn into hookers. <laughs> Who? Good going, Donald. You really have a knack for calming a man down. I'm usually not trying to. What's going on? My daughter is a dance hostess. It goes, girls, girls, and beer. You know the place? Sure, I go there all the time. <laughs> The way you move. Thanks, I'm really having fun. I was being facetious. So was I. <laughs> Joe, how long do you plan on us dancing with Penny so other men don't? I don't know, tonight, tomorrow night, till she turns 50. Couldn't we just do away with her? Donald, I am not leaving here till she agrees to talk to me. Well, it might help if you didn't start the conversation with, hello, slut. <laughs> Hi. Would you like to dance? No, thanks. I prefer not to pay when I trip the light fantastic. <clears throat> hey, I've been watching you dance, and you're terrific. How about a free one? It's on the house. Why, sure, babe. <laughs> You're the kind of lady who'd make a preacher want to kick a hole through a stained glass window. <laughs> Raymond Chandler wrote that. <sighs> so how'd it go? She willing to talk? I don't think so. Every time I mention your name, she makes this gurgling sound. Well, you've still got two tickets left, Joe. You might as well go give it another try. I am tired of being humiliated by my own daughter. Then you should probably leave, because something wicked her way comes. <laughs> Wanna dance? No. Wanna shave my head? <laughs> we'll dance. Start with me, Dad. Fine. We'll just dance, okay? Boy, I remember when dancing with you used to be fun. Remember when you were little? You'd dance around the room with your feet on top of mine. Little did I know it would turn into this. You're the one who told me I shouldn't be snooty. I meant overly snooty. A little snooty's good, like the Pope. Hello. Hello. Carlotta won't let me dance with the girls. She said I could do this for half price. Go get a drink. Okay. Penny, the thing is, no self-respecting person would take a job in a place like this. I have respect for myself, and I took it. And please, call me Tiffany. <laughs> I just don't like seeing you in this kind of place. Tiffany. I'm dancing, that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what they hired me for. This is not what I raised you for. You raised me to believe in myself and make decisions, didn't you? I tried. Well, now you've got to respect the choices I make. Not this one. <sighs> Daddy, they turned to me and said, you're hired. No, maybe you can't understand what finally hearing that meant to me. It meant I was finally worth something. You need this to prove that you're worth something? Yes. 
And you could understand that if you weren't so hard-headed. I have to be hard-headed. I'm a father. <laughs> no. But if it makes you feel any better... <laughs> it makes you feel any better, I realize that I've been marking time in junior college and that I gotta get a plan going. What do you mean? I mean, I wanna go to a real college. I wanna do something with my life. Henley, this is great. So quit this job. No. Not until I've paid for the dresses I bought, and the shoes, and the harp. <laughs> Look, Penny, I do, I have faith in you. I just wish I could accept this, but... Then just do it. I have nothing more to say. If you want to ruin your life, it's up to you. <sighs> Dad. I, I don't know how to say this, but most men tip. <laughs> Having fun? No. That's because you keep dancing with that strange one. Hey, she's not strange. She's just out of place in this environment. That's the truth. Hey, did you know that uh, she owns a harp? <laughs> She's compulsive. Why don't you try one of the other girls? No, thanks. No harm. I mean, this one isn't going to last long around here anyhow. What do you mean? She doesn't have what it takes. And what's that? She doesn't play up to the men like she should. I tried to train her, but she's just too... Hard-headed. Yeah. <laughs>